GATVAC um, was a trial executed by a big European consortium. So we plan for a very personalized vaccine approach for glioblastoma patients introduced into newly um, diagnosed patients in the first line treatment. So it was a treatment consisting of two vaccines. One vaccine was um, according to the expression profile of um, the patient's individual tumor compared to other normal tissues, but also compared to a reference set of glioblastoma patients to make it a very specific um, approach against that specific tumor. And about seven of those um, peptides were selected according to expression, selectivity of expression, immunogenicity, and also pre-existing immunogenicity in the blood of patients. The APVAC2 was composed of peptides that were manufactured from mutated antigens. So we did a next generation sequencing from um, the patient's tumor, um, looked for specific mutations for predicted immunogenic mutations, tried to find the mutated um, ligands with a mass spectrometry, and then also did prediction analysis for um, the most powerful peptides that could be introduced. So we had um, a, a median of two peptides selected for each patient. Patients would undergo normal radiochemotherapy and then in the maintenance treatment, first the APVAC1 for a couple of months and then the APVAC2 for another couple of months was given intradermally together with an um, adjuvant poly-ICLC Hiltonol or a GMCSF to enhance the immune response. The aim of the trial was to look whether this is at all feasible because of this production process while the patient is on treatment. Second, safety of course. And third, immunogenicity in the blood, but also if possible in the tumor tissue. The APVAC production process was really successful. So we managed to produce peptides for 15 out of 16 patients that we introduced into the trial both APVAC1 and APVAC2. The vaccination process was not really a problem. We had some safety issues with um, local dermal reactions to the um, immune stimulants, to the enhancer most likely. We had one patient where we could not tell whether enhanced brain edema was probably also due to the immune um, um, approach. And, and this is very um, 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 interesting, we had um, long-term benefiting patients. We have patients progression-free more than 30 months over the course of um, the treatment and still progression-free and alive today. And, and this was very intriguing for the validity of the approach, we could not only detect more than 50% at back two um, responses and more than 80% of like one responses in the blood, but also in the one patient where we had second surgery tissue, we would find specific T cells against the mutated antigen we vaccinated against. So this was really um, reassuring of the approach. And I think the next um, step will be to enhance the um, immune efficacy and to do a control trial.